Yes, hello. Um, so my name is Mario. I'm uh, from Berlin and I'm also based in Taipei. And uh, this is Christoph uh, from the Fedora project. Uh, we have a cooperation with many projects. And we're talking about the new desktop environment LXDE. Okay, LXDE stands for Lightweight X11 Desktop Environment. So, um, yeah, it's like uh, KDE or GNOME, but LXD is much more lightweight. And that's how it looks like. Um, there are different views, so we can pretty much look like uh, uh, standard desktop environments. And, um, yeah, that's what it's about. Um, we are much faster, we use less resources, and it's uh, much more lightweight. Um, that's our goal, these are uh, the design principles. We have here a table, open office writer, for instance, uh, with the standard GNOME, uh, Ubuntu 8.4 with Linpos Lite, uh, which is based on old Fedora, and with Windows XP. Uh, Windows XP is a leader in, in, in uh, slowness, yeah? And um, LXDE, overall, it's a much uh, uh, less resource-hungry system. Okay, so less resource hungry, lighter, faster. LX can also stand for Linux. And um, yeah, we think it's especially designed for new generation devices like netbooks or MIDs. Um, also for old computers, of course, um, that don't have so much resources. It's mainly written in C and was started already 2005 by PC Man uh, in Taiwan. And I'm now giving the microphone to uh, Christoph. He will continue with more technical parts. Thank you, Mario. So, um, for example, on a Fedora standard install with BaseX system installed, it's only 4.6 megabyte to install uh, LXDE while it's uh, 22.8 to install XFC. And XFC is also to be no known to be lightweight. So it's uh, optimized for low disk, con disk space consumption. It's low memory usage. It follows a modular approach. This means that uh, every component can be used separately, can be easily replaced, um, removed, added, whatever. You don't need a full-blown desktop. So due to its modular approach, we also don't have long dependency chains. Most packages only requi require GTK2, and it supports input methods and accessibility because it's GTK. Uh, some people complain about why do you use G GTK, but um, well, if we want to support input methods, uh, accessibility, and so on, and multilingual uh, internalization, there's no other way than GTK, we think. It has everything a desktop needs. It's a panel with plugins, a desktop with icons, session manager, task manager, text editor, image viewer, and an archive manager. So here we have the components itself. You see the desktop with the main menu. You see PC man, the file manager with tabs that you can use to, especially on small screens, they are uh, very useful. Here you see it uh, in a big, large screen. This is also another version on running on Ubuntu, as you can see on the colors. Okay, here we have a small features overview. We have thumbnails, desktop icons, internet bookmarks, GTK bookmarks also. It's multilingual. multilingual. I notify support is experimental at the moment. It's multi-threatened to uh, load large direction directories quickly. It can be started in a, within one second on a normal machine. Yeah, tab browsing, I already mentioned that. It has uh, built-in volume management um, with, uh, through HAL, so you can mount, unmount, eject devices. It has a built-in file search utility, well, and a lot of other features that you can see on the other side. Drag and drop. Files can be dragged from one tab to the other. Um, large directories uh, are processed in reasonable times. File association uh, support according to free desktop org specs, thumbnails, we already mentioned that, bookmark support. It already always can handle non-UTF file names correctly, and so on. So let's see how it looks. This is Alex Launcher. You may be, no, you may, may, might know something similar from uh, the Asus EPC Launcher. Just click through what it looks like. 
We have the panel with a lot of plugins. The menu is, uh, as I said, according to free desktop specs, it's um, generated on the fly, and we also have a menu caching mechanism to make uh, loading the menu even faster. Here you see some of the plugins that can be added to the panel. You see it's, uh, it's really a lot of plugins and we are working on even more plugins by separating the panel into two separate packages, plugins and also the panel itself. Here we have the execute command with uh, file completi completion. Oh, sorry, this was too fast. Here we have the user interface, uh, the appearing setting. We have an included picture viewer, which uh, loads pictures very, very fast. It's uh, pretty simple, but you can click through the images with the uh, buttons. You can, well, change the rotation, whatever. Here we have the task manager. It's also a simple one, but uh, does everything you need. We have um, a tool to edit and uh, create application shortcuts on the desktop and in the menu. Well, and to uh, sum it all up, um, some components that cannot be shown. Edit session is the session manager itself. It has uh, support to shut down, reboot, and suspend the computer with HAL and GDM. Um, it's a stripped down version of the previous uh, uh, LX session, and uh, well, it works pretty, pretty well and pretty fast. It supports AutoStart. Uh, we also have this AutoStart editor where you can select which applications to start. It provides a way to automatically start certain applications. We have our ter terminal inside. And here you see Alex Music, a music player with some Chinese music, I think. We also have Alex Render, it's a, a monitor configuration tool. We have uh, Alex NM, it's a network manager um, but still under development. Uh, Alex DE is the uh, package that uh, brings everything out together. It includes the uh, default settings, the configuration files, and the artwork. And we have GTK Netcat. It's a graphic user interface for Netcat, of course. To sum it all up, it's GTK based. Um, so it fits to the other applications that are running on your GNOME, Ubuntu, and whatever you use. And the team also uh, supports the GTK uh, by submitting patches. Uh, we apply to official ISO standards, we follow the free desktop OS standards, and we follow the uh, Linux standard based file hier hierarchy standards. And of course, all RPs are open. We optimize for flash storage, so low EO usage. We decrease the number of input output operations, and the uh, lifetime of solid state disk is extended by that. So, this is green IT because it works with old hardware, you don't have to replace it. It lowers the CPU and RAM load and therefore also replace, uh, lowers your, your power consumption and it, uh, it's, uh, the batteries therefore last longer. Adding a new feature is quite easily because everything is uh, modular. Um, there are a lot of new components that have been added recently. The, um, well, there are so many ideas, uh, some of them are listed here, and there are people working on them to get them included. So, yeah. Okay, I continue a bit about the community. Um, as I said already, LXD was uh, started 2005 uh, by PC Man in Taiwan, and uh, here are some people uh, of the community. Um, yeah, and... Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, that was a different way. And yeah, Hong Yan Yi is the na name of uh, PC Man. Um, is the core developer of PC Man uh, File Manager, um, uh, founder of LXDE, uh, and he is actually a medical doctor. So that's what open source is about. We can get in many different people. Everyone can learn about this. Here we have a project like this, LXDE. Uh, Andrew Lee. Debian package maintainer for a long time. Um, he worked uh, uh, 1998 um, on the Linux localization project. Um, and um, yeah, they all worked together at that time uh, with mainland China, with Hong Kong, um, and uh, yeah, disregard of uh, political problems. And uh, I really like uh, this uh, uh, way of working together over borders. Uh, Pank, um, also uh, from the project in Taiwan, uh, he translated several chapters of O'Reilly's Programming Pearl 3 edition into Chinese, for example, and um, yeah, also works with hardware manufacturers. 
we have some uh, meetings, like a lot of events are going on um, here, for instance, um, uh, with a meeting with Ubuntu people and uh, people from Canonical. Um, we have uh, like people show, uh, at the Linux World in San Francisco, and um, also local supporters there here, uh, for instance, um, former IBM, uh, uh, Glenn Johnson. Um, yeah, then LXD hacking event, for instance, we had that in Shenzhen. Um, yeah, we have support by the Open Source Foundry. It's a Chinese academy um, of uh, uh, science in Taiwan, and uh, they also employ some interns for, who only work on LXDE. Uh, here are students in Beijing. Um, of course, also have uh, people in Europe uh, meeting at the sea base. I don't know, maybe some of you know uh, uh, some guys here. Um, so they uh, support this project. Here, back to uh, Asia, the gentle package maintainer um, at uh, Yahoo, he's working in Hong Kong. And we have people at uh, Tsinghua uh, University in Beijing and Peking. Um, yeah, here the package maintainer of uh, Mandriva for LXDE. He is a musician. Uh, but he's also packaging uh, LXDE. Um, again, meeting in Shenzhen. Um, we also uh, like have packages in Suzy. We have packages in most uh, big distributions uh, by now already, so you can try out LXDE uh, yourself. Um, the Linux user group in Beijing, there are 850 people already. I always hear people saying, like, what's going on in Asia? We don't know about this. Uh, we never hear. Uh, actually, there's a lot going on, but they speak Chinese. And uh, so for us, sometimes difficult to get in touch. Yeah. So I invite you, we invite you, everyone, um, join this project. It's a really cool project. We always um, uh, said like free and open source is about um, uh, my code is free. People somewhere in the world can take this code and can do something with this. And um, a few years later, it comes back to me and it's a great application and I can reuse it. We said that many times, but we don't have so many projects actually that go to the other part of the world. Here we have that. A lot of the code uh, comes from uh, Europe and was reused uh, by people in China, in Taiwan, everywhere, and they started this project. And uh, yeah, it's a really global community now, even though it's still a small community, it's a global community, and um, yeah, we're working together, and we invite everyone to, to join this project. Here are a few ideas. Many people are already engaged in uh, different distributions, for instance, um, join and, uh, us and provide, for instance, packages. You can become a package maintainer. You can join the translation project. It's very easy in the wiki. We have uh, different tools, different how-tos there. Implement, uh, uh, for instance, uh, some support for um, sessions, implement trash and PC man, uh, configuration uh, like a GNOME control center or XFCE settings, we don't have that yet, or create a new theme. Yeah, uh, uh, here uh, Christoph has done that for instance, he, he's also happy to help people. And uh, yeah, that's how we co support the community. We have a website um, where you can download LXD, try it out. Uh, we are on SourceForge. Um, most people know how to use that already. We have a wiki in 18 languages and we have real people engaging uh, in these languages. So we didn't just set up a wiki and say it's 18 languages. We have people really working on that here. It's a wiki.lxd.org. Um, we keep people up to date um, uh, on the uh, events that are happening on our blog. Um, we have a forum. It's uh, uh, yeah, increasing very fast, uh, so many people joining. Um, yeah, and uh, a planet where we collect. So if you engage in the LXD team, uh, we uh, will include you here in the planet as well. What else? Um, design project, translation project, mailing list for that. Um, uh, you can, yeah, Twitter, everyone now here, Twitter, Web2.0, of course, we have that too. Um, you can get in touch directly with developers on the LXD channel in English or Chinese. And uh, yeah, and we have a, a foundation that is a non-profit foundation. So it's a whole environment ready for you to join. And um, remember, LXD is a desktop environment. It's uh, lighter, faster, less resource hungry. The origin is in Taiwan. We're building uh, or we're engaging with a truly international community here. And uh, cordially welcome you. So um, yeah, the future looks bright. Uh, thank you very much. Okay.